especially on your wins tonight. Um, you were leading for pretty much the entire race. Is that kind of the plan that you had going into it? Uh, actually, not at all. I just wanted to be in good position, like second or third from the start, and then three laps to go. Me and all my teammates knew it, that I was going to try to hammer it from them, from then, and all of us just kind of go in line, but it seemed like nobody else wanted to take it, so I just went with it. All right, uh, you know, a lot has kind of been talked about to you, uh, the people you kind of what you say, not, yeah. you know, not going to say dominance, but the success you've had at Steve uh, Was that any type of pressure to kind of live up to that? Uh, absolutely. I've been running with those guys and almost lucky that I found myself second fastest on the team this year. Had some confidence coming in, but a lot of nerves played in. I felt very nervous and very pretty bad at the start of the race. And I felt like if we didn't come through and at least get half of our guys and all American, that it was kind of a failure. So I absolutely just wanted to play it and have all of us finish high up there. <clears throat> what was that feeling with probably 100 meters or 50 meters to go when you were first sure, you know, more likely than going up and actually change the world that feeling going through? Disbelief. I <laughs> turned around after the last barrier, looked around, didn't see anyone behind me, and then the emotions took over, threw my hands in the air, just pure excitement, didn't know what to feel, and crossed the line and <laughs> couldn't believe it dream come true <laughs> in and out I still can't believe that I'm a national champ I still really don't feel like it but it's a whole whirlwind of emotions going on right now steeply you baby <laughs> thank you